Okay, so in this video, we're going to integrate 2 divided by x cubed with respect to x from minus 2 to 3. So, looking at this function here, we've got x cubed on the bottom. So we could say it's 2x to the minus 3. So 2x to the minus 3. Now, slight problem we've got here is the limits of integration from minus 2 to 3. Just draw that on a number line. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. All these values for 2 over x cubed are all good until we get to 0. 2 over 0 cubed is undefined. That's no good to us. So what we can say is that this function here is not continuous. So a quick look at the graph of 2 over x cubed. 2 over x cubed will do something, it will come from down here somewhere, come here, appear to cross the uh, origin, and then go off, and then go off up here, something like this. That's not the greatest of pictures, but it gives you some idea of what would happen. Okay, so what we're going to do about it? So what we're going to do about that is break this integral apart into two separate integrals. And we're going to imagine that down here we've got epsilon and here we've got negative epsilon. So we're going to make this graph disappear here, somewhere like that. And this centre bit here, where x equals zero, to this point, we're going to completely ignore that out. And epsilon here is infinitely small value. So it could be minus one over a thousand, minus one over 10,000, just a very tiny amount, just enough to miss out zero. Now, we start off now by writing this integral as integral from minus two to negative epsilon. So imagine minus two is somewhere here. That's minus two. So we're interested in this bit. And then 2 over x cubed dx. So that takes care of that. And then the next bit we want, we're going to add the integral from epsilon to 3. And that's positive 3. Let's make sure we see those positives. So now if it's 3 here, we're interested in this bit. So that bit there, that bit there. Not to scale but it gives you a rough idea of what we're going to do. 2 over x cubed dx. Okay right so now we can integrate. So integrate of 2 over x cubed so it's negative epsilon to negative 2, 2x two to the minus 3 dx plus integral epsilon to 3 of 2x to minus 3 dx. So when integrating, I always find it's easier to get this negative power in there rather than trying to deal with fractions. Okay, so now we go straight into integration. So integrate 2x to the minus 3, we get x to the minus 2, divide by the new power, which is minus 2. So we end up with negative 1. Negative 1 x to the minus 2, and that's from negative epsilon to negative 2, and then we add. So we now know what the integral of 2 to the x minus 3. It's negative 1 x to the minus, oh, x to the minus 2, and again this time epsilon to 3. Okay, let's just rewrite this as a fraction. So it's minus 1 over x squared from negative epsilon to negative 2 plus negative 1 over x squared from epsilon to 3. Okay, right, now let's get the values in there and see what we end up with. So we've got 1 minus 1 over, right, negative epsilon squared gives us epsilon. That's our first value. And then subtract, plug in minus 2, that's what we're going to subtract. So minus 2 squared is a, is a quarter, so we're subtracting 
minus 1 over 4. Let's just put that in brackets. And then we're going to add 1 over x squared, where x is 3. That gives us minus 1 over 8. And then subtract epsilon into this gives us epsilon squared and a negative. So that's minus 1 over epsilon squared. OK, right. Now let's bring this up here. Gives us a bit more space. So negative 1 epsilon, negative 1 over epsilon, minus, minus a quarter, so that's plus a quarter, plus minus 1 eighth, so that's minus 1 eighth, then plus, minus, minus 1 over epsilon squared. Oh, missed out the squared here, sorry. Okay, minus, minus 1 over epsilon squared gives us plus 1 over epsilon epsilon squared. I'm not going to put the plus C in just yet. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Minus 1 over epsilon squared plus 1 over epsilon squared. These cancel out. And then plus a quarter minus the 1 eighth. So plus a quarter minus 1 eighth. That gives us plus 2 eighths minus 1 eighth. So it gives us 1 over 8. Okay. There we go, that's our answer.